here. My name is Amanda Marie. Over here, I love to discuss all things fragrance. So if you're someone that is into smelling good, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button. Okay, so if you're new and you're wondering like, what is this girl doing? Okay, this is my monthly perfume video and y'all, it is December. We made it to December. Can you believe that? Like, child, y'all know I wanted to give up on the whole perfume tray long time ago. Okay, long time ago. Do y'all not know how hard it is to actually commit to a perfume tray when you have a ton of fragrances. It is very, very hard. But the reason why I went into it this year is because I felt like I wasn't using my perfumes. There were a lot of perfumes just sitting, collecting dust, whoop, 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 de whoop, and I needed to spray my perfumes. I needed to use them. So I was like, you know what? I've never done a perfume tray. I have a cute little tray that I bought from, where did I buy this tray from? Probably Marshalls or Home Goods somewhere, child. I'm gonna just go ahead and use it and make it do what it do. And so I am not gonna lie, the struggle was real, okay? It started like, you know, affecting me probably like in June or July because I was, you know, I would come over here and then I would look at, you know, perfumes on my display and I would be like, you know what, oh my God, I want to spray my perfume. Somebody texted me, child. Let me see who this is. Okay, good. Um, but anyway, I hope my camera settings are right. Y'all know I've been struggling with my camera settings. I don't know what I did or when I did it, but my camera settings have been off for the last, I don't know, three to four months. I would call myself, I don't know, taking some pictures or doing something. And my camera settings have been off ever since. So it may look a little dark. It may look a little, I don't know how it's going to come off on, you know, TV or your device or whatever you're watching this video on. But anyway, it's very much giving, I'm sitting down talking to y'all, forget about the, you know, the professionalism, okay? So I feel like plus this is the perfect time for me to like mess with the settings on my camera. But anyway, y'all, we made it. It's December. I cannot believe we are literally weeks away from 2024 you know um my daughter's birthday is coming up and so is mine hers is on friday mine is on saturday hold on i gotta fix my settings hold on and um her nana sent me a picture and i i wish i could show y'all the picture but i can't show y'all the picture because it's part of a christmas gift but anyway um it just it was a picture of her and I, I was holding her and she was literally probably days old. And this was back in 19, 1994. And I just, I stared at the picture forever because it just, it kind of really just made me very emotional. And I just started thinking about how far I've come as a person, as an individual, just growing, you know, just, uh, just, it's, I've come a long, long way, y'all, a long way. Hold on. Just it, looking at that picture just reminded me of how far I have come. Um, and her too, you know, she's 29 and, you know, I'm 30. <laughs> the lies you tell but uh you know i'm up there we ain't gonna talk about it um but yeah i've come a long way y'all and just anyway going back to the point that i'm talking about i can't believe that it's about to be a whole new year oh this is the point that i wanted to make you remember back in the day when you were like a teenager and you was like you know Thinking about the year 2020 and 2023 and 2024. Bitch, we're here. Okay, we're here now. <laughs> like, what? 
what would what were you thinking about doing in the year 2023 2024 like I, I, I ain't gonna lie to y'all I thought at this point I would be married I thought that I would just be in a different space than what I am in now not and I don't want y'all to get it twisted I don't want y'all to think that I'm not happy I could be happier <laughs> yeah I'm not even gonna lie I could be happier um and I'm not like hurting for anything you know I'm in a decent spot I am struggling in certain areas of my life as far as career um and love you know I just thought that I would be married by now I thought that I would have like you know three or four kids maybe like three uh four baby girl that's too much okay that's yeah you're doing the most but I thought I would have you know a family you know and um yeah life ain't really paying out like that and so you know this whole year I did a lot of reflecting. I did a lot of um, inner work. I did a lot of, uh, you know, trauma healing, healing my inner child. I spent a lot of times doing things that were fun, you know, that I thought um, that was that were fun as a kid. Like I'm gonna tell y'all one thing, and y'all y'all gonna y'all may laugh about this, but I'm telling you, healing your inner child is major. It's like major key. So I bought me a coloring book. I bought me a coloring book. I bought me some colors. I bought me a Barbie coloring book because when I was little, I used to love the Barbie coloring books. And um, you know, but I've got a little fancy with it. Hold on, let me show y'all. Let me show y'all so y'all know that I'm not lying. Coloring book, see, I told y'all. I, I bought a coloring book for real. So I don't know if I told y'all this. I really don't like talk a lot about my past and my childhood a lot on my channel um and i'm gonna work through that in 2024 because i feel like a lot of y'all been rocking with me since day one and y'all have seen the progression y'all have seen the changes y'all have seen it and i've I've done that with other influences as well. I saw where they started. I, I saw the struggle. I see where they are now. You know, and it's real. Like, it's really real. Uh, YouTube still ain't paying me enough to quit my job. But I do want to devote more time to it because I love doing it. Um, it's just another way of self-expression to me and I pray to God at some point it pays off for me financially <laughs> because uh, your girl got bills okay I ain't gonna lie but anyway here's my coloring book but it, when I was little um, I had you know like a little rough childhood I'm not gonna lie it's, my story is not unique you know a lot of people have, you know had rough childhoods and I feel like um, some of my childhood was stolen from me. Um, I, I look at the, the life that I provided for my daughter and how I was really, really big on letting her be a kid for as long as she could because I didn't get that. I didn't get a chance to actually enjoy being a child, you know, doing things that kids do. Uh, I felt like I grew up really, really fast, um... I ended up getting pregnant at a young age, 17. I turned 18 like two hours later after my daughter was born. And um, there was a lot of resentment there for my parents, my mom, and my dad. Um, if y'all follow me on Instagram, y'all know I kind of, you know, talk about that a little bit in my stories and whatnot. But um, I was in five below and I was like, you know what, I'm going to buy a coloring book. Because, again, as a child, I love to color. So, um, you know, I lay in my bed at night um, before I go to sleep, you know, just kind of thinking. And I guess you can call it a form of meditation, even though I've not learned how to master meditation. <laughs> because my mind is like, doo -doo 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 -doo. you know, like, you know what I'm saying? And then when I do think about I'm meditating, I end up falling asleep in girl so anyway 
here's my first little coloring thing. Y'all know I had to get fancy with mine. You feel me? Like, I had to get fancy with mine. Like, yeah, we're healing our inner child, but it's giving like we're grown. Okay? We're giving. We're grown. My inner child enjoyed this. She was like, oh, yeah, make them glasses red. Make those lips red. And her go. she has to have gold jewelry. Like, my inner child was so into this. Like, she was so into it. And so, yeah, I, I bought me a coloring book started coloring and i think i did another page in here but i love this barbie coloring book i was very much into barbies um when i was little so i thought i had did another page in here but anyway i guess i didn't which leads me to understand i need to do another page but yeah this year was pretty much me um you know working on my inner child working on traumas creating boundaries learning how to say no um healing you know my heart because i did you know i got my heart broke last year and it it, it was odd uh, y'all know the story but anyway um i did a lot of that so i don't know i'm i'm like ready for 2024 but then i'm not if that makes sense um i'm I'm, I want to move forward. Like, I'm ready to put myself out there and I'm ready to. Ooh, girl, I can barely say the word. Date um, again, you know, because I feel like I'm a decent human being, you know, that is worthy of being loved. And I think it's time that, you know, I put myself out there and. We'll see. Fingers crossed, child. We will see what, what, what the universe is going to get. We'll see. But um, I was trying to figure out if I was going to do another vision board. So a good friend of mine had a vision board party um, last December. Was it December or was it in January? I can't remember. I think it was... As a matter of fact, on New Year's Eve, because she's half black and half Vietnamese, and so she incorporated some of her Vietnamese traditions into the New Year's uh, Eve party. Um, so I'm pretty sure it was on New Year's Eve. But let me show y'all my vision board. Okay, y'all, y'all see, I can get down with the coloring book, but really, like freestyle drawing. It's not my ministry. Okay, so y'all gonna get y'all little key keys or whatever. <laughs> because even when I look at it, I'll be like, girl, what do I want to do another vision board? Because I feel like as I look over my vision board right now, I don't know if anything really popped off on the vision board. And I told my daughter this the other day and she was like, mom, you know, the vision board doesn't necessarily happen that year. It can happen the next year. It can happen in two years. I'm realizing that I'm more of an action person. Like I need to take action because if I don't take action, I get very stagnant and I don't like that. Getting stagnant, I don't get anything done. So instead of doing a vision board, I'm gonna use my vision board that I have here and I'm gonna put 2024 over it. But I'm going to come up with action cards for 2024. Hear me out, here's my idea. Y'all are free to do it as well. But hear me out. So I was going to get some index cards, right? And I was going to pick out 31 index cards. One, I was going to write free on it. Because some months there's 30 days. Some months there's 31 days in the month. So you get it? You following me? So um, I was going to write free on it. So some of the cards will say um, pray three times today okay another card may say um an action card get dressed put on something nice take yourself out to eat you see what i'm saying like stuff like that that will then allow me to go out more and i feel like as i'm doing these things it will become um so a habit it will become it will feel more natural to me because 
when COVID hit, I actually went inward a lot. I stayed inside a lot and I still feel that lingering on me quite a bit. Like I'm, I'm very much like a homebody. Um, and I want to get out more. You know, I want to do things. So I'm going to do these um, action cards. It's going to be 12, my 12 month action cards. So I'm trying to think of other things to put in there like um, buy yourself something nice today or what else I need to write this stuff down because as it come to me I be I be forgetting it um, okay so buy yourself something nice today go to the park today after work you see like stuff like that so that that is my plan for 2024 and um, another one is gonna be like go to gym cuz guess what the damn uh what they call planet fitness been getting my coin out 2023 and i didn't probably went to the gym a handful of times like who does that like you just giving free money and then wondering why i'm broke girl bye like we see stuff like that i'm putting that in there cancel <laughs> Release things that are no longer serving you. Okay, what are you releasing today? You gonna release that gym membership finally? Like, what are you releasing? You you see what I'm saying? So, you guys are free to do it. Comment and let me know if y'all do decide to do it. But let me show y'all my vision board. Hold on, let me let me light it up a little bit in here. Um. Okay, I'm gonna have to break the things. I'm gonna have to break it down for y'all. I just want to make sure I'm focused. Because I don't know if I'm focused. It's looking very much dark in here. But, okay. <laughs> yeah, baby, my vision boy got hair on it. Child dust. Baby, y'all see them little floaties floating around? But anyway, okay. Let me start over here. <laughs> okay. So, this is jail. Okay. This is jail. Now, y'all know art is subjective. Just like fragrance. Okay. But hear me out. Follow me. Okay. These are dollar bills. These are my coins. Okay. They're in jail. What I wanted for 2023 is financial freedom. You see what I'm saying? Freedom. Y'all see how the how the, the coins is busting out of the jail cell? Come on, man. Don't do it. Y'all see? Y'all see it. Don't play with me. Don't play with me. Your girl, your girl. You know, it may not translate well on paper, but yeah, I be coming up with some stuff. I be coming up with stuff. So yeah, financial freedom, okay? I need my, see, they're coming out of the jail, okay? The dollars, the coins floating straight to me, okay, into my bank account. That's what I need for 2024. When I open up my email, I need to see you've got paid you have money period like so we are gonna go into 2024 with this okay financial freedom out 2024 we're spending on business with the coins yeah okay look at that i put money right there m-o-n-e-y money okay well we need money lord let me say something i ain't trying to you know come off like i'm being greedy but whatever financial blessing you got for me in 2024, I need mine right now. Okay? Right now. I need mine right now. Bring it on down here. Okay? I also put on here... This is the... Uh, is this like... This is like the silver... Y'all know that silver YouTube plaque? I want it. It says, presented to the Amanda Marie for passing... 100k subscribers on YouTube. I want that. I want that. This was a very out there goal for 2023. I'm not even gonna lie. Because y'all can see where I'm at right now. It was a it was very much, but when you are manifesting, girl, you got to be a little Delulu. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be a little Delulu. You can't be all timid with it. You got to really just, you know what I'm saying, be a little crazy. You, Because you never know. You never know. You never know. But moving on, I got a little house right here. And the pink is for me. The blue is for my man. Okay. 
Um, I want a red door because I love a red door in front of my house. Um, oh my God, it says, this is the house I was meant to live in with my man. Now these are rings, these are wedding rings, okay? And then up top, child, do I have my whole name on here, child? <clears throat> This is a marriage certificate, okay, and a wedding cake. I think y'all get the picture. I think y'all get the picture by now. But, um, and you know I go back and forth with that, to be honest with you. I've had quite a time with relationships. I, you know, I keep it real with y'all. I've not had the best um, experience when it comes to romance, romance and romantic relationships. Ugh. Hold on, I need to take a sip on that one because it was hard for me to even say that to y'all, really. Mm. But the fact that I could say it and it actually rolled off my tongue. Growth. <laughs> Growth. You hear me? Yeah, your girl is growing, okay? So, but you know what? Ultimately... I would love to be in a committed relationship. I don't know if marriage is for me. Never been married. Um, if it goes there, it goes there. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I'm not pushing for that. What I'm pushing for is just the love and um, the commitment that I've never had and I that I want and I deserve to have someone in my life that is mature that is uh emotionally available to me i don't want nobody that's that has a problem showing emotion you know um honest that loves god because if you don't have a relationship with spirit or god or some type of religion how you gonna pray for me? How you gonna pray for us? Cause we 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 needs prayer. Yeah, we need prayer. We need prayer. I don't know about you, but I need I need to be covered, okay, with prayer every day. So you know, it's just it would be odd for my man um, to not have a, some type of religion or spirituality about him. It just would be odd. We are, we gonna get to the perfume tray for those of you that I feel like somebody out there was like, when we gonna get to the perfume tray? We gonna get to the perfume tray. Um, and it's gonna go quickly. So, because I've talked about these fragrances before um, on my channel, so I won't really go into detail with them. But, yeah. Um, you know, I have to stop lying to myself because when it comes to love I lie to myself a lot and I have to stop that because the truth of it is I do want to be in a relationship the truth of it is I'm scared the truth of it is I'm tired of being alone I'm tired of being single that's the truth so I have to stop lying to myself if we're really gonna if I'm really gonna stand on big business in 2024 I gotta stop lying to myself. I have to stop the lying. And just really be honest with myself on the things that I want, the things that I see that I envision for myself. So yeah, but 2023 was actually not a bad year for me. Um, I feel like it was much needed. I feel like it was much needed for me. I moved into um, my new place. Um, no one has been here. Only one of my really, really good uh, friends has been here. Um, my daughter has been here. It's been, I think I needed that because uh, I was in this month, like crying. I was in this Y'all know the story. I was in here praying. I was in here baby healing. And I didn't need a lot of different energies in my space. I didn't need that. I needed to be in solitude. I needed to be by myself. I needed to think. I needed to cuss. I needed to scream. I needed to holler. I needed to 
you know, take naps. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Walk around this bubble naked if I wanted to. I needed to do that because I hadn't done it like two years prior to I, I hadn't been able to do it. So I needed to do those things and I did it and I actually feel better. So looking forward to 2024, I will let y'all know how them cards go. I got a stack of index cards somewhere around here. I need to find them, but the goal is to have my index cards ready to go by January 1. Um, I'm also going to put in my cards to journal because I have a crap ton of journals and ain't child, I will start a journal and then I go back and look at the last entry. It was a year ago. Girl, stop wasting money, okay, on journaling. So I'm gonna put that in there, write in your journal today for 30 minutes. I'm gonna actually put maybe about three of those in there um, just so I can do it. Cause you know, I have thoughts and stuff that I like to jot down from time to time and you know, stuff like that. So without further ado, if you're still with me, Let's get into December's perfume tray and let me just pat myself on the back it, <laughs> because y'all know I wanted to give up on the perfume tray and your girl stuck it in there baby yeah you want to know who's staying on business what she say you want to know what a boss to look like somebody that stand on big business you're looking at one okay because I stood on business with this perfume tray I ain't let y'all down not one month, not one month did I let y'all down. I stood on business, yeah. And we gonna end this year off on a good note. Ooh, here we go. Mmm, perfume tray for December, baby. Can't believe that we're here, but we are. Ooh, and I'm nervous for 2024. <laughs> I'm not, I ain't gonna lie. But anyway, December's tray was all about the gourmands. Um... I'm on a gourmand kick right now. I want to smell like everything edible. I want to smell sweet. I want to smell edible. Whether that's smelling like a damn uh, piece of cake or smelling like a sweet piece of fruit. I want to smell edible. I want you to walk up to me and be like, damn, I can literally either bite you or lick you. Don't do either one, okay, in case you do run up on me. Just let, just tell me how good I smell, okay? <laughs> All right, you know what, before we get started, I want to talk about these oils. I got these oils off of um, TikTok shop, and the girlies were right, okay? These, the girls was talking about these oils. These oils are from Land of Oz. I don't know if you guys will be able to see that. Hold on, is it gonna focus, child? Y'all pray for me. I should write down a new camera for uh, 2023. I'm sorry, 2024. This camera has been with me, child, since uh, 20... Ooh. 20... Girl? 15? 16? Baby, she been here for a long time, okay? She been here, so y'all gonna have to excuse her if she get a little off. But anyway, I picked up Warm Caramel Vanilla. I picked up Bakery Air. I picked up Pistachio Dream. These are from uh, Land of Oz. A-A-H-S. Land of Oz. Now, a lot of people on Instagram, well, not a lot, but a few of y'all asked me, where's the website? I don't see the website. The website is down. I think the website is down because um, I checked too when I was trying to buy for Black Friday. I feel like you can only get these on the TikTok shop. So, I mean, I know a lot of y'all probably don't fool with TikTok, but I would just create an account just to go and buy these oils because when I tell you they're top tier, honey, they're top tier, the pistachio smells yummy. Oh, it smells so sweet and fluffy. The pistachio is definitely standing up in this fragrance. It's doing what the pistachio is supposed to do. It smells sweet and nutty. That um, warm caramel vanilla, 
Oh my God, it smells, I can smell the caramel in this. It smells very sticky, ooey gooey, just like what a gourmand is supposed to smell like. Now, Bakery Air is probably my least favorite. It smells sweet. It smells like a bakery shop and they bake everything from loaves of bread to, you know, cakes to pastries to whatever. Like you get that, you know, that hint of a bakery and you smell like flour and you know the stuff that they use to create a loaf of bread. But there's also a um, sweetness in the air because they make pastries. That is what they smell like. I love them. And y'all, they was affordable. I want to say they was like, it was Black Friday. So I got them for like $9.99 a piece. 10 mls spray there I go um sprayers I'm not gonna spray any right now because I'm trying to make my stuff last even though I do intend on buying more because girl they're that good okay they're really really good so let's get into December's perfume tray we'll start here I have Nebras on the tray. You guys know about Nebras. Nebras is, girl, how do I do it? Am I too dark? I ain't gonna fool with it no more because I know y'all probably getting tired. Girl, leave that light and camera alone and talk about these fragrances. <laughs> okay, so, okay, I have Nebras. Nebras reminds me a lot of um, Billie Eilish in the gold bottle. Have you guys smelled Billie Eilish in the red bottle? Comment down below and let me know. Is it something that I should get my nose on? People was already comparing it to Baccarat. Let me know in the comments. But I like Nebras better because it is Eilish just times 10. Major. Sweet, fruity. I don't pick up a lot of florals in this fragrance at all. It smells like vanilla. It's gorgeous, okay? And when I tell you the longevity is amazing. People can smell this on me all throughout my office. It lasts all day on skin and on clothes. I want to say I got this from Fragrance Buy for a pretty good deal. It was affordable, so check them out. Nevers is on the tray. I have a fragrance from the House of Oud on the tray. This is Dates Delight. Now, this is a warm, ooh, a little spicy fragrance. It's boozy. It does have dates in it, so you get this dry, sweet, fruity smell from this fragrance. I think it is very, very sexy. And definitely a gourmand, but leaning more on, um, not, I, I, this is very unisex to me. I'm not going to say this is masculine. It's very much unisex. But it's not uh, like your uh, edible type of scent. It's more along the lines of fragrances like um, Angel Share. Okay? It, it gives me that type of vibe. So, but it's still in my eyes a gourmand, a gourmand but more of a spicy, warm, boozy type of gourmand scent. Now, I did put, and I talked about this in a previous video, I put an oldie but a goodie on the tray. This is Prada Candy. This is my second bottle of this. Um, this is caramel. It's light, sweet, fluffy. Y'all know the longevity. It's not all that. Um, but I love this because it kind of was making me reminisce about the past. So, I put that on the tray, child. I put that on the tray. I also put um, Yum Pistachio Gelato on the tray. And y'all can see, I got a nice little dent in this fragrance. Can y'all see that? I got a nice little dent in here. So I've been wearing it. I actually wore this fragrance today, okay? And what did I layer it with? I wore this, and what else did I wear with it? Oh, I layered it with this fragrance. Dolce and Gabbana, the only one. I put these two together, and it was a pretty nice, you know, decent combination. I felt like I smelled the only one more. Um, this is like coffee, caramel, I want to say whipped cream. 
it's delicious it's bright it's sweet it's very it's not necessarily boozy but it does have an ambery feel to it like a vanilla sweet thick vanilla type of feel to it so these two were great together um what else i put a burberry goddess on the tray because this is a nice vanilla fragrance and i often consider over the top vanilla fragrances very gourmand like i i put them under the gourmand category because it's a lot of vanilla and vanilla can come off smelling sweet you know dessert like so burberry goddess is on the tray i also put um caltat night by atar collection usa on the tray this is cherries this is boozy this is a little spicy it's warm it's sweet definitely great for cool weather sweater weather it's amazing does remind me a lot of angel share by killian but with more cherries in it i feel like you definitely get the cherries in this and i actually wore this the other day um and i layered it with a sample of tom ford's lost cherry so it was cherry overload okay that day the day that i wore this cherry overload and it smells so good i actually have a uh what is this this is a dupe of child time for us by sherry i don't know why i drew a blank that fast and i'm i'm not promoting this brand but i'm gonna talk about it because i spent my money on this um this is cherry smash by alt the camera automatically cut off but look at the juice on this the juice is just honey Woo -cha. syrupy okay the juice is syrupy so very much giving Tom Ford's lost cherry I think honestly one of the best Tom Ford cher lost cherry dupes that I smelled I also put um another vanilla fragrance on here this is bohemian oud I'm gonna call this a vanilla fragrance. This does not smell like oud to me whatsoever. I don't get the woody oud from this. What I get is vanilla, like a sweet vanilla. Did I mean to put this one on here? I don't think I meant to put this one on here. I'm gonna switch it out. I'm gonna switch it out for, hold on. Okay, I'm gonna switch it out for vanilla vibrations as y'all can see the bottles look just alike i'm gonna switch it out for oh my god did i miss a top oh child vanilla vibrations by zara okay um i like this one this is this is one of the out of the four or five was it four or five i can't remember i really liked vanilla vibrations um and there was another one I think I like, Hypnotic, Hypnotic Vanilla, or Starlight Vanilla. I don't know. Hold on, let me focus, child. Okay, now this is a new one that I picked, I picked up. I was gifted by Twisted Lily, and this is a fragrance I've been wanting for a long time. I talked about it in my previous video. This is by Comptour Sud Pacific, and it is called vanilla banana now i don't know what i called it last time child this is vanilla banana okay beautiful fragrance it smells like banana laffy taffy let me just go ahead one time for the one time Ooh. Oh. the banana is ooh wee man it is major in this fragrance i will tell you though the uh longevity um mm, it's not the best it's not the best this probably gives me oh about a good two hour wear i'm gonna have to layer it with something else and that is the thing that i'm always talking about with these over the top fruity fragrances it's gonna lack in some area either it's gonna come out smelling generic or it's not gonna last or project it's I feel like it's very hard 
to have a realistic fruity note like banana, like pistachio, like notes like that and it actually lasts all freaking day. It's very hard. But if y'all know of one, comment down below and let me know. But I don't mind topping this off when I need to. This would just be something, honestly, that I would layer with and keep it moving. But it's absolutely delicious. I love it. It's just, it's the best. I'm not going to lie. It's the best banana fragrance I've ever put my nose on. Okay, not that I smell every banana fragrance out there in the world. But, y'all, yeah, I put this on the tray. This is Birth of Venus. I put this on the tray because even though it's not a full-on gourmand, it definitely gives raspberry and chocolate. And I'm here for it, okay? Oh, it's thick and syrupy. That raspberry and chocolate is standing all the way up in this oven. It smells good, like better than good. It's like one of the best fragrances I've smelled in 2023. Like, if you have bought this off of my recommendation, and I do have a discount code below, I will make sure I put it in there. I want to say it's Amanda 10, but I'll put it on the screen somewhere for y'all. If you have bought this fragrance off my recommendation, or even not off my recommendation, off of somebody else's recommendation, if you have bought it, comment down below let us know let the people know how this baby this thing smells Ooh. man make me weak in the knees every time i smell it i get weak in the knees you know what it smells like it smells like good girl gone bad by killian but just man i mean they took, imagine taking Good Girl Gone Bad by Killian and just making that, making her the baddest one on the stroll, okay? Like you, she the, she is the bottom, she is, you know the bottom is the baddest one, right? Like she is tough, you know what I'm saying? Like the other ones are pretty, but yeah. You know, that's your, that's, that's your LeBron, okay? That's the one you put out there when... <laughs> Not that I could pair the whole fragrance to a prostitute child. <laughs> but what I'm trying to say is that she is the baddest, okay? Birth of Venus is just the baddest. Like, yeah, let me focus. Focus. Because she didn't come to play with y'all. Yeah, child. Baby, she don't. She barely fit on this tray, but she don't fit. I put Burberry Her Elixir on here. Y'all know it's strawberries, it's cherry, it's creamy, it's like tonic, it's sweet. You know, it's doing what it's supposed to do. You know, the vibes are there. Definitely giving gourmand vibes. I put um, two of my favorite Nazar fragrances on the tray. That's Oud Cake and Sweet Peach. I actually talked about these two in a previous video. Um, I will tag that video up above. If you haven't seen my Gourmand uh, fragrance video, my top 10 Gourmand fragrance video, I will tag it above. And it's giving more of a breakdown of some of these fragrances. Not Birth of Venus. I will tag Birth of Venus somewhere else so you can see like the whole review and how I go crazy every time I smell this fragrance. Every time. I put, um, am I going to be able to get these back on here? I had them on, the, on here so perfectly. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it again. Anywho, I have Vanilla 28 on the tray. Y'all know, brown sugar, boozy, sweet, okay? One of the best Cali fragrances out there, okay? I put... Whiff of a Waffle Cone on the tray. This is the original Whiff of a Waffle Cone. I'm really wanting to put my nose on the new one. I don't like the um, fantasy note in this fragrance, which is like a, a ice cream shop. The, it smells like an ice cream shop from like the early freaking 1900s. Okay, like one of them ice cream shops 
where they was riding up, pulling up on horses. Okay, not that this smells like a horse, but a saloon. Okay, <laughs> so it's like a ice cream slop, slop, a ice cream shop slash saloon. Okay, where the girls had them um, little feathers in their head and them dresses, and you know you can see their pantyhose, and you know the men walked up in there with two pistols on it. That is what the ice cream shop smells like. It smells very much dated. And I don't like that. Mm -mm, I don't like that. So I'm really bucking to get my nose on the new new. Okay. And I have the feeling. I have the strangest feeling. I'm going to like the new version. I already know. Okay. I put on here bold. Milk bold by Commodity. Y'all know the vibes, okay? This is a um, beautiful, yummy marshmallow, roasted marshmallow, I'm going to say. Some woods, so it's a little deep. It also has a little campfire smell to me. I think that's from the roasted marshmallow, though. I also put my uh, beloved Love by Killian. Now, this one I received earlier this year, actually. And I have the Extreme. They smell very similar to me. I think the extreme is a little bit lactonic um, or something creamy or something like that. But I put love on here because the orange blossom in here, there's marshmallow in here too. It smells sweet like a gourmand. It smells like honey to me. That's what it really smells like. And then I put on here Elictimus, uh, Trajan's Elictimus which really smells like Baccarat to me with more caramel, okay? Just a big dose of caramel. And you know, did I catch COVID this year? Cha? No, I caught it last year. And I lost my sense of smell. And I already have issues with smelling Baccarat on me. I wore Baccarat the other day and literally can only smell it for a few minutes. I was so disappointed. Um... But my nose has a tendency to go blind to it after a while. Other people can smell it on me. I just can't smell it on myself. And this is one of the first fragrances that I ran to when I started, like, trying to get my, you know, sense of smell back. Um, and I like this one. I love it a lot. I Do I like it more than Baccarat? I can't say. But I do like it. I love the caramel. And I'm, I hope it's caramel. I feel like there's caramel in here. I love the caramel in here. It just, it smells like Baccarat with an overdose of caramel. And I love it. Okay, is that it? Is that it? Okay, I did put a vanilla fragrance on here from, I'm going to have to fix my tray, y'all. This is from a black-owned brand called um, Good Vibes Perfumery. They sent me their uh, 700 Millionaire perfume, and this is beautiful. It's a very uh, sophisticated vanilla fragrance. It has a lot of different notes in it. I'll do a separate review later on. It does put me in the frame of mind of Burberry Goddess. But it is not a dupe, okay? It's not duping. But it does remind me a little bit of Burberry Goddess. So, I put it on the tray because it's a vanilla. Did I talk about mini, child? And I got some news to tell y'all. Hold on, let me, uh-uh. I got to move some stuff around here because I can't be messing up my mini, uh, my mini, mouse perfume i think that's everything the last last but not least is mini mouse this they even came out with another mini mouse you guys and i really can't wait to smell it hopefully i get it in one of my pr packages <laughs> yes y'all your girl is a house of siage affiliate now okay and i'm just like god is that true? Because y'all know I was feeling some type of way. You feel me? And God was like, don't worry about it, baby. I got you. I got you. Don't don't you worry about it. Okay. Let me handle it. Baby, he came through. Yeah, so 
I will have an affiliate link, okay, where you guys can save money on House of Siage, even though they have sales every week. Every week, every time I open up my email, the first email I see is from the House of Siage with some type of sale going on. So, but um, yeah, I'm really happy about that. Y'all know I do love House of Siage. You know, um, I love their fragrances. I wish that, well, I'm, I'm going to have more to talk to you guys about. Um, but before I became an affiliate, I was, you know, wishing that I was able to purchase more. But they're, you know, they're pricey, but I think they're worth it. I think that is one of the best brands. And y'all know I talk about them all the time. So I'm going to be talking about a mirror more get off this camera let me get off this camera but because i haven't even had my dinner or anything honey i just jumped on and started talking to y'all but uh yeah so i'm excited for 2024 i'm gonna stay prayed up and optimistic child really am i really am um i'm gonna put a few more videos out before the end of the year um just you know i got some videos lined up some like top 10 videos or whatever y'all know i was doing that whole a uh, focus okay i'm gonna do some more top 10 videos i'm gonna finish that out for this year and yeah i you know i'll be seeing y'all in 2024 so but anyway, I just want to send a big shout out to all my new subscribers, to all you guys that click that subscribe button. You don't know. I'm going to let you know. And I don't know if you're going to believe it or not, but I appreciate every last single one of y'all. And the black girls too, okay? Because y'all my riders. Listen, if it wasn't for y'all... I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing, okay? I wouldn't be entering spaces that I never thought I would enter. And it's because y'all rock with me and I appreciate y'all so much. Every time I check my analytics, my subscribers have went up and, you know, I just, I appreciate y'all. I really, really do. I really do. And one thing I'm going to get better at is responding to y'all in a more timely fashion because it really makes no sense for me not to be responding to y'all like two or three weeks later so i feel really bad about that but 2022 is gonna be way better it's gonna be way better hell who knows i might even get a camera a new camera because i think i need one i think i actually deserve a new camera because this one is not focusing or maybe it is focusing maybe my contacts are just dirty child my contacts dirty child my contacts might be dirty i could be a little tipsy too because i've been sipping on wine <laughs> anyway love you guys i love you guys thank you so much for supporting me if you have any of the perfumes why am i about to say medications i am not at work Listen to me back. Thank you guys so much for watching. Comment down below if you have any of the fragrances I mentioned in this video. Let me know what your favorite gourmand fragrances are, okay? What you think I should smell, you know, what I need new for 2024 or whatever. Comment down below. If you're into fragrances, if you're into smelling good, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to click that notification bell. That way you'll be notified every time I upload a video or whatever. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button on your way out. It lets the algorithm know that you are rocking with me, okay? And she can push my videos up so other people can view them too. Hit that thumbs up button. I hope you guys are having a beautiful day and I hope you are smelling good doing it. I will see you in the next video. Bye. Oh. Mwah.